Not far from Chocolate and Cocoa Avenues in Pennsylvania, American chocolatier Hershey experiments down these halls with a well-known confection. You know what this is. This is a Hershey Kiss. It was first produced in 1907, but more than 100 years later, we're getting a high-tech take on this traditional piece of chocolate. And the magic is happening right in here. One hour, 26 minutes. The time to 3D print one Hershey Kiss. The chocolate's been heated up up there in this white cabinet here. Right. And it's pushed through that small nozzle. Shapes in three dimensions. Computer designed, then extruded like icing out of a bag, layer on layer. Industrial firms have used such methods with metal, plastic, and other media since the first commercial 3D printer in 1989 by 3D Systems. Only recently has food been tried. I don't think I ever foresaw that we would someday 3D print in chocolate. Jeff Munt has had a quarter century career in cocoa. 3D printing, he says, could disrupt the chocolate making industry for the better, from mass production to mass personalization. So you could potentially have micro manufacturing facilities that would create every chocolate bar, candy bar in your, in your range all in the same place. And it's no secret the CIA is testing 3D food printing too. Not the spy agency. The Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York. In the same corridors of high-end culinary creation, they're printing geometric sugar designs and more that could one day be put on your plate. The printer doesn't think in three dimensions. It thinks in cross-sectional, two-dimensional layers, right? The CIA 3D prints inside a tray of sugar. The end result here, a red-dyed vase you can eat. We've created a small little geometric bite. We've also printed other designs. I'm tasked to take them out. It's like excavating for <laughs> dinosaur bones, except these are made of sugar and you can eat them. Extract the extra sugar with the tiny air gun, gently. I broke one, oh no! Here we go. And then, the taste. It was like a solid cinnamon dolce latte melting in my mouth. But these sweet little blocks are just the start. If you're going to redo that. Thomas Vaccaro is dean of the CIA. We can move into the world of savory. And so thinking through that, there's a possibility of us dehydrating vegetables. Um, parsnips, beets, strawberries, uh, tomatoes. Savories are on the menu elsewhere in the world. Like with the consumer forward Fudini in Spain, which prints burgers and the cheese and pizza and tomato sauce. Its first U.S. office is planned for this year. The CIA will open a new 3D food kitchen and classroom space for chefs in Los Angeles this year, too. And Hershey will have 3D printed chocolate you can buy by year's end. Imagination is the limit. For Hershey, it's starting with a kiss.